Engine is all timed, put together. A little bit of tension on the belt, just like it would be in the car. Let's just see if this thing turns over. This is the kit that I bought. Um, this, all right. So the next step of this is trying to find TDC, top dead center. And the way we're gonna do that is by rotating the crank um, with a little like a uh, screwdriver or something long. I'm using my little magnet pickup. Um, and what we wanna do is rotate the engine until we find top dead center. So I'm watching it go down. I'm just gonna put this on. And when it gets to the top, which is right there, we should be able to see the we should be able to see the QR codes that are on top of the cams. So when you see the QR codes, you know that your engine is at TDC. Now, normally what we would do after finding TDC is we're going to um, lock the cams in place using um, the tool over there. Once you're at TDC and you can see the QR codes, Normally on the flex plate, um, there's this little uh, there's this little tool that you're gonna push into here and actually lock the flex plate in place. I actually don't have the flex plate on here at the moment, so I can't lock the engine in place. So now it's time to put this timing stuff back on the engine. Make sure that the QR code on the camshafts facing up. That's when this is at TDC. Sometimes you'll have to actually take these off and put it on, but maybe I have to do now. This side's on. This side's not. There we go. So you guys are wanna gonna wanna tighten these down by hand because this can strip out your head and then you're screwed. Is there a 14 mil, 13 mil, 13 mil. What you need to do is set the flywheel up so that this little pin over here you take this little thing out and you put the pin in so that it locks the flywheel at TDC. So I guess let's go try and do that. I may have to use the crane here to, to get this up and off the engine stand just so we can lock the flywheel. One kind of uh, dowel where this mounts up to and then the rest um, you screw in so I'm assuming the dowel is that top part well it's gonna be on the top here let's clean this up a little bit there we go Got a pilot bearing in there. Um, now the guy that sold me this said 
that this was supposedly new, which maybe is true, maybe he's not. So I'm going to take this plug out. If it wants to come out, come on. So it looks like that. So I took the flywheel back off. I'm trying to get this, this key in there. And no matter what I do, it just doesn't want to go in. Put some WD-40 on it. I'm kind of tapping it with a hammer. I mean, look at that. It shouldn't be going in like that. Hmm. Tried cleaning it out with a wire brush. I'm about ready to drill it now. <laughs> Make the hole bigger. Okay, so I'm just gonna put you guys on my head so I can chat with you a bit about what I'm doing and have my hands free. So what I did was I just pounded this in there and then rotated it a bunch until it became loose. I put some WD-40 in there. So now it should go in just like that. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna lock um, to the bottom of the flywheel here to that little hole right there. So now let's put this back on again, and try it out. Wonder if that's in all the way. So literally by pure luck, I got it in. I just rotated this slowly till I could see the hole coming through here. And then I'd put my finger on it and rotate this back until I can see the crank, the pull it, the pin right there. And then I just push this in as best as I could. And now it's locked in place. When you try to move it, it doesn't move anymore. Um, so now that we're locked at TDC, we can put the timing, man, I'm so tired. We can put those things in here. Let's get to it. So the Vanos thingies, um, you have to look on them. They're not the same. Uh, one has in or ein, and one has aus for aus or exhaust. And they correspond again with the camshaft. So we wanna fit the exhaust one on the exhaust side and the intake one on the intake side. So. Don't mess that up. So what you need to do is make sure that the timing chain is in the guide. And then we're going to place this in there. It kind of, um, this slots onto here. This slots onto here. You can put it however you want. It doesn't really matter because it gets timed after. And then I'm gonna pull the chain over top of it. Or not. Come on. So that's tight on that side. Now let's get in that side, the intake side. Ooh, that ain't gonna work.
So that means the timing chain is tangled down there, which is not good. Okay, I think I figured it out. Um, I wanna watch some YouTube videos. What you need to do is put this on the chain. See, I undid this, I undid this, and still I can't get this on. So what I saw people do is kind of leave that hanging out like that. And then put this one on. But still, I feel like that's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. See? There's something wrong. So, seriously, I've been stuck here for hours. Um, couldn't figure it out. Literally, I needed a centimeter more chain to be able to, uh, to get this on. I tried so many different things, rotating the engine, pulling up on this, and I, you know, just got so kind of frustrated. I just took the whole chain and lifted up like this, repeatedly, repeatedly, just lifting up from the chain, being careful not to break this little piece. You know, I undid all this stuff, loosened everything, took this piece out, like, I did everything I could. So I just yanked on this, leaving like almost the whole weight of the engine on it, and I got my centimeter back of of chain and now you can see actually it's 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 a little bit loose on there it's ready for the tensioner so i don't recommend that i don't know what happened i don't know what i did but something down down here uh shifted and uh yeah now now it's all good I can't believe uh, you know I had that roadblock. I'm I'm pretty exhausted right now. I'm gonna go inside, get something to eat, and then come back out and keep throwing this thing together. All right, so the key is in. So the engine's locked at top dead center. So now we're gonna set the timing. We still have the cams locked from before. Um, and now we're gonna use the last little tool to set this up so that the Vanos are, is also timed. Um, I already know that these little pieces need to be around the, those parts, but um, I'll show you what we're, what we're working with. You want to use, I believe, this one or this one. Let's just try one. But you're gonna set this up so that the little tabs fit into the little holes there. Um, of course, this is loose. Oh yeah, we need to put in the, the tensioner. So like that. And I think we use these guys. Gently thread them in there. So that it's locked in place um, and then wherever my tensioner went it's right here we are going to put this in to act as the tensioner I don't know if I'm supposed to tighten this to a specific uh, torque spec or what All right, well, it's tight there. I'm not gonna go past that. That's tight enough. That's on. And so now, I assume we tighten these down. Um, I'm gonna go get the torque spec for these. Or maybe I have them right here. Nope. All right, so well, now that that debacle is over um, and we got this all put together in time, these are still loose. Um, we're going to tighten these down. It says to replace the bolts. Um, I can't wait on that, so I'm just going to go ahead and torque them down. 
it says to torque them to 20 foot pounds and then 180 degrees i think that's incredible um Is that supposed to move like that? That's 20. That didn't really feel like much. And then now we'll do 180 degree turn with the breaker bar. Oh, 180 degree turn. All right, so let's start up here. It's 90 almost, and wow, that's 180. Whew, okay. Wow, those are on there. So everything's timed now. What I'm gonna do is take the flywheel back off, put this thing back on the engine stand so that I can move it around. And uh, I think I'm gonna just start uh, tearing into that other car so that we can get the motor side by side, swap over all the parts. I am still waiting on two bolts that broke over here on the intake cam. So I guess I'll just cover this up, push it to the side, and we'll start our engine swap. together a little bit of tension on the belt just like it would be in the car let's just see if this thing turns over This supposed to be clicking like that. You guys see that? Hmm. I hope so. Maybe it just needs oil pressure or something. Now I'm also gonna put the original chain tensioner back in. Spring loaded, you can feel it tightening up there. And then take the 27 mil socket, it's good to go. So this is getting tucked away for storage. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you've been following this long on the channel, I really, really, really appreciate it because now we're at the point where it gets exciting. We're actually gonna tear the old engine out and put in our brand new rebuilt engine in. And I'm building step-by-step -step tutorials on how to remove an N52 from an E90. Now this can be applied to so many different vehicles because chassis are very, very similar. So if you have a car that you wanna get your engine fixed on, I highly suggest that you subscribe and follow along for the videos and I'm sure that you can learn a ton through this process just like I have you guys can make this happen so hope to see you guys in the next video see you later